The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the April 25th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows, I mean absolutely knows, that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Think about that one. Yeah, how many people are prisoners of their past? Eh, not a good idea. In fact, the good idea is, and I hope that you're having an extraordinary day, is that we should have an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, you make that one little two by four shift and it means you can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at you. Today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. That's right, we're gonna go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but more importantly, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-664. And if you can't dial in, we've got you covered. You can always let those fingers do the walking. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in the Tiger's Den, hey, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow trading up 107 points. 26,488 is the print. S&Ps are up two. NASDAQ 100 up a half a percent or 37 points. Uh, the NASDAQ composite up 21 points. The other indices are in the red out there, including the spot volatility index. That's trading out at 1303. It's well below its 50-day exponential moving average out there. Gold is uh, basically flat up 50 cents. Silver down two pennies. Light sweet crude up. 16 cents leading the charge to the upside. I'll have one of those. That is Sam Adams, Boston beer up 23 bucks or eight and a half percent. Service now up 17 and change at 7%. Amazon up a little over half a percent or 12 buckaroonies. Lamb Research up 6% or 11 bucks leading the charge to the downside. It is that hot sauce of Chipotle. CMG is the ticker symbol off 4% or 27 buckaroonies. 3M is the big one. It's the killer off 27 bucks, 12% uh, putting a hurt inside of the uh, Dow, but that's the way that it works. Xilinx XLNX is off 16% or 22 bucks as well. So plenty to look at. Of course, we are going to look at what you want to look at out there. So interesting things going on in the charts, but let's first get to the first request. This came in at 4.30 yesterday afternoon, but Stevie went ahead and saved it. This was coming from Josh S. Uh, Josh wrote in and asked, what do you think about Siri, S-I-R-I, -I, out there? Is it more likely to get below 5.50 or above 610 first? Now, that's quite a question out here. Let's go take a look at Siri and see what it is that we know for Josh Aruni out here. And Josh, when I pull up these three time frame charts, the left-hand side is the daily, the middle is the weekly, the right-hand side is the monthly, the very first thing that shows up are the market profiles. The bottom of the box is our support or should be support. The top of the box is our resistance or should be resistance. Above resistance, bullish, below support, bearish. Now we could take a look at the daily and the weekly and the monthly time frame because just visually we can see, hey, below the bottom of the daily, below the bottom of the weekly. But where are we at on the monthly chart? The answer, my friend, is lying, not in the wind. And not even the wind that I'm going to spew out in the next couple of moments here. Uh, the wind uh, is really in, not the wind, it's the chart. It is the price point specifically of 566, $5.66. Now, if price like it did last month, 
closes above that level, well, then what you have is the basic trading range between the bottom of the monthly profile and the point of control, where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value. $6.20 is that number. Below $5.66, well, your question will have been answered. Five fifty dollars will come first. You're asking about the six ten dollars level. That's really the trading range. This has been in a, that trading range in essence for four months out here. So there's nothing that is on this stock chart. Yesterday, a big move to the downside volume-wise. But guess where price stopped? Right where it should have if it wants to maintain its uh, more bullish outlook, its more bullish structure. As we expand the chart out here and pull it back, there's also quarterly time frame profiles on here. Those are the red ones. But what we can see here as far as the big redwoods with regard to Siri, Siri has been trading above the bottom of its profiles, well, really going back to 2010. So on a longer term basis, that bottom of that monthly profile of 566 is really important. Not only would it go back to 550 if it closes below that, I'd have to say 459 is where the door would open up on it. Now that's looking at the monthly time frame chart. Uh, we can see what else can we find out about Siri here. Um, we can see that it formed its top out here as it uh, as it should have with that uh, TD setup nine count. It did it on the bar following bar nine. You had that bearish engulfing. It was a key reversal session as well. So it was signaling the top that was out there, or at least sellers were signaling to you what their intentions were. They were making their intentions known, and their intentions once known then tell you and I that price, what sellers are going to do is they're going to try to ram that stock down to a level of support, which was the solid red line, which is where price found support for just a bit of time out here, going back into about October of last year. So as we speak right now, the answer to your question, my friend, will it get to 550 or 610 first? Here's the way we answer that. As long as 566 holds, it'll get to 610 first. And if 566 fails, it won't be 550. That's the wrong question. The question will be, will it get to 459? And at this stage of the game, we're going to say, yes, it will. So, Josh, thanks for writing in, and I hope that helps answer your question with regard to Siri out there. All right, no other questions. So what is it that's unusual or what is it that's interesting in the stock market? How do we go ahead and take what we just looked at in Siri and somehow segue uh, them into what we're going to look at next? That's always the trick, right? You got you to kind of weave. You got to bob in and out out here. And so the easiest way for me to do that is, hey, we just looked at a top inside a Siri. It created that TD setup nine count. So let's do that. Let's go take a look at the current TD setup nine count. That's in the NQ, which is just simply going to the moon, right? Maybe, maybe not. Today is the day following day or bar number nine. Made a higher high. No problem there. That means today's high could be the high. What we also can see is you can see the A to B equals CD pattern. That gave us a price projection of 78.55. Probably the first time I put that out there, you said, that guy's out of his mind. I am. Totally out of my mind. So good, I want to give you my out of my mind reading of what's going on. Now, today's candle, is that a bearish candle or not? I leave that to you to answer while we go to break, and I'll answer that when we come back. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the candle that is, uh, is is formed thus far as of 118 in the afternoon is what's referred to as a key reversal session. And it is uh, bearish, or it can be bearish, or it will be bearish if there is, if this, if this closes one tick below the open. Uh, by the way, the open on this uh, candle session, oh, come on, work with me here. Why is this being slow? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head out here. Um, but it's, and this is confirming the A to B equals C to the upside. What's what it's not doing though, and you know we we may be easy, but we're not easily fooled around here. Is what price did was it came down and also tested and rejected Stevie's green line at 78.14 and change out here. You would need to see a close below Stevie's green line in order for this to generate any kind of a topping, a confirmed topping signals really what I should say. Uh, we'll come back. We'll talk more about this, but we got a caller on the line who we've got to go to. That is Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you on this uh, terrific Thursday? I'm doing well, Steve. Thank you for taking the call. Hey, my pleasure. So it's the fossil group out there that you are interested in. Uh, tell us what you're doing and how I can help you. I would just love to get your analysis. It looked like there might be some potential of a bottom being put in here is one to get your thoughts on it and have you take a look at some of your different uh, criteria that you use. Okay, absolutely. So the one nice thing that we can see in taking a look at fossil, and I'm going to go back to my Ninja Trader charts, is we know that it was really being stretched to the downside, meaning it was making lower lows but doing so with uh, less energy out there. And that's always the sign of either a bottom or at least a bounce. Now, this didn't Bounce didn't come into effect and really until uh, yesterday. And so it's trading above the oscillator and change line. That's the red line at 1294. Uh, this daily chart would say the next to resistance level might be 1395. Um, I don't have the, the preferred bullish reversal candle, Brett, here that I'd love to see. But with price trading above uh, the 1294, that red line number, that says, OK, it's still worth considering for bottom. And what it's doing right now as we speak, I don't know where the close will be, but the top of the daily profile is 1345. Now, I'll open up the daily time frame chart 
And, um, and in this instance, we can see that Fossil, if there are times where it trades above resistance, the top of the box, and then eventually sells off and moves lower. So it can't really, um, in, in the most recent time that it did that, traded above the top of a profile was back in January of this year, which, um, it, you know, gave you a, a buy signal back on December 26. Uh, but unlike the rest of the market, this thing eventually failed in early January and it continued to head uh, lower out here. So even though it's trading above the top of the profile, I'm going to say that probably not best for me to just rely exclusively on the daily time frame for its signals out there. So that's the first thing that I see. So if we do the same kind of thing and pull over the weekly chart, Brent, and we'll take a look at my Ninja Trader uh, chart, what we can see is that um, price made it to wave number eight, doesn't really exist out here, uh, but it did that uh, this week. And But what price did do, interestingly enough, is there's a solid red line on my screen. It doesn't go all the way over to the right-hand side. That is established by a setup nine count, and that says that support would have been that low. And that low was 12.04, which I believe uh, either was uh, – I price got down towards that area. I don't know if it actually tested it or not. But that's a key level support. So the, so the weekly chart now for Fossil says price came down to support. Now, the cool thing here is, unlike the daily chart, where we did see there were time periods where price was able to close above resistance, which on a profile chart is the top of its profile, the weekly chart, we can see Stevie's green and red line out here, which has really acted as resistance. So now what we have is a real key level that would be able to identify for you whether a change in trend has taken place. Can this bounce to 1389? Absolutely. Most likely that it, it will based upon what we just looked at on the daily time frame chart. But the key is going to be will this close over 1389? I would say if it does that, then you're on to something inside of Fossil, at least enough uh, enough of a, a piece, a group of inf uh, some information to say, okay, makes sense to go ahead and try to take that trade. Now, the weekly time frame chart also shows that there could be resistance at the bottom of its profile, and that's 1425. So getting inside that box, closing inside there, would then say, okay, I want to run to 1616 or 1808. So the question becomes, hey, you know, do you want to take the trade now? Maybe. Do you want and watch for 1389? That will be your next real key level on any kind of bullish move. And then 14 and fourteen dollars and twenty-five cents. And above that, then I'd say you know you're off to the races. Now the cool thing about Fossil is during the pullback out here, its real breakout took place the week of uh, February 12, 2018. And Brent, I'm going to guess. You have been looking at that because you, you see that wide-ranging bar and you see that accelerated volume. The problem is that price hasn't pulled back to where that breakout began, which would either be 797 or 716. But in this instance... It may have bottomed, and so we're just waiting to see, can price take out those resistance levels? So that's what I see when I take a look at Fossil daily and weekly. The monthly, as I just take a, a quick peek at it, doesn't really provide you and I with enough information to spend any time there. So were you, did you, were you looking at that breakout by any chance on that weekly basis, that big volume to the upside uh, back in February of 2018? I did, and I'm glad you mentioned that. I did have a quick question. If you're on the weekly itself, if it were to close around this, uh, where it's at, would that not be a reversal candle? Because it looked like it might have gone lower than the previous bar and above the previous bar. Is that right? Absolutely. So it, it, it absolutely is a reversal, uh, key reversal uh, session, and it's actually a bullish candle, too. It's actually a bullish engulfing because it's entirely engulfed the uh, body of the prior session. Uh, but when I see those uh, occur, and, and since I've incorporated over the years the TAS market profiles and the oscillator and change line, um, whereas I used to just simply rely exclusively on a bullish re or bearish reversal candle, what I have come to learn is that my trading has been improved by confirming that price was able to get beyond key resistance levels. So we'd feel much more comfortable if on the weekly chart, not that it just formed that bullish 
reverse, a bullish engulfing and a key reversal session, but also got above and closed above this oscillator and change line. Because when we take a look at this longer term view, we can see that price has rejected that or been below that level since August of 2018. And there have been plenty of times where price has moved higher into that level where somebody might have thought, hey, this is great, fossils finally turning around, only to get, you know, just slammed by this resistance level, kind of a hidden resistance level. But And so, so the answer to your question is yes. But the bigger answer is going to be, can price get above this area of resistance that has contained price for such a long period of time? That makes perfect sense. I really appreciate it. See, that extra little bit of information is critical. So okay. I, I do appreciate that. Thank you very much for your help. And My just pleasure have a wonderful always. day, okay? My pleasure as always. That was Brent in Martinez, California. A, a great trader and investor, folks. A great trader and investor. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. <laughs> Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Mr. Z in the den uh, has just bought Dr. Copper out there and not risking much. And uh, the question is, do I see support in this area? And so, John, uh, what we've got on our screen right now, as you can see, 
are four different time frames, but five different profiles out there. That's the beauty. On the left hand side, you're looking at the one hour time frame, the 60 minute time frame. Uh, then you've got the 120, then you've got 240. So 60 times two, 120 times two, boom. And then we get to the daily, which is 480, which is not really right. You've got, uh, what, 60, 360, 480. 480 versus 240. That'd be the four hour. Then any. I don't know. My mind is, hey, and then we've got the week daily chart, excuse me, with the daily chart that has both the daily and the weekly profiles. Here's what you've got, red shoots, red bars out here, meaning that prices below each of these time frames support level. So the key level of support, and by the way, this is the July contract that we're looking at for copper. Um, I put up, just in case, John, just to try to look for it, I put up my synthetic version of the uh, contract. Uh, just to see if I could get some different profiles, and the answer was I did not. So now I've got the July version out here, and the bottom of that uh, weekly box is 2.875, and we're at 2.867 out there. So the question would be, if there is no support, um, you know, where's price likely headed to out here? And obviously it's traded into this swing point. I'll assume that uh, you've taken a look at something to say, you know, price is pulled back to the swing point for March 25th of uh, 2019. Uh, the high of that is 2.869. Um, in essence, you're looking for a rejection of that area out here. But with regard to, uh, let's say, profile support, it, it does not uh, show up. Now, on my Ninja Trader charts, I only have the um, May contract that don't have Ju uh, July, so I've got my continuous out here. So the price is going to be slightly different, but we're using this, you and I, just to try to identify support, and I don't have a support level here either. We just see a consolidation sideways. So when we see the consolidate, what looks like a consolidation sideways, we know that the highs have held. What we really don't have is the lows really being tested out here when we take a look at the daily time frame. If I look at the uh, weekly, then the only support that I can find here is right here, right now, where we're at. And that's on the weekly chart. That is Stevie's green line, which is just uh, maybe a penny or so above where we're where we're at right now but this would be the only level of support you ask me can i find any support in this area this is it so you're not risking much so that makes sense so you're not risking much because if this level here falls fails uh then get prices likely headed lower now you want to watch the week of i would say i don't know where you're where you're because uh, i'm not hey i don't have time to, to take a look at the exact details of your trade out here but the low the bullish engulfing from a weekly standpoint that would also be support would be 2.8345 so i would say below that level it's uh probably sayonara to the downside for dr copper out there it will almost look like i had deleted my daily time frame chart so i hope that helps you out with regard to what stevie sees as support or not in the case of dr copper we got let's go to our next question uh, this next question coming in from uh, tamar from seattle hey steve i'm in intraday options for iyr so let's get over to the uh, three time frame version for the iyr out there so uh and then that's the u.s real estate etf let's continue reading the question oh wait a minute what the heck happened there oh that's the second one i forgot to mention i'm looking at the five the 15 the 30 and the 60 minute hey, tomorrow does not like the uh, daily weekly and monthly time frame charts out there but anyways let's come back i bought the $85 puts this morning. I held on too long and missed my opportunity to sell. For profit, I'm now in the red. I'm wondering if I should get out ASAP or wait until the close and see if this goes down. Usually when I wire gaps down on the day, continues that trend. It did not do that today. Okay, so here's what I can share with you with regard to IYR. Here's what I'd like to share with you with regard to IYR. So here's the daily time frame. I know you're on the short-term time frames out there, but I'm gonna give you my daily view based on what I have seen out here. So when instruments make tops, there are several patterns that they can follow along. The one that the ones that you and I look at for any time frame, any instrument, really, it doesn't matter to you and I that this is the IYR or anything else that we put up on the screen. I just want to say that so that people know what it is we're looking at. But when the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, eh, 
God, one of the best things that I invented since sliced bread. I did not invent sliced bread, but I did invent uh, this tool out here. And we can see that prices moving higher doing less relative energy on April 12th. You got the bearish reversal candle like Brett and I were referring to on April 16th. Now, in this case here, it was a close below Stevie's green line. So there was your confirmed failure. Then becomes a question on these charts here. I don't have the TAS market profiles. I like to use the ones on these signals. So we go back and forth. But certainly that would be a place that you would look at on a day basis now what this system does show you is it shows you some red and green solid lines so if this is going to continue lower uh, which I don't know if it will or not just yet uh, but the price target to the downside would be 8298 now resistance here is 8691. And he bounces up to that level that rejects it, could be setting up an A to B equals CD to the downside. That's what that daily time frame chart shows. Well, now if we go take a look at where did price move to when it made that hop, we'll take a look at the daily profile at that time. There's a new one that formed yesterday. Price never broke through support. It got down yesterday uh, on the 22nd. That was uh, Monday. On the 22nd, got right down to one of the levels of support. You know that that was a bullish structure daily profile because the center of the box was closer to the bottom than the top, and that's where price got down to. That price point, 84.05, it held. Price got above it um, on the 23rd, back to its bullish mode. So the 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 road momentum indicator called the top, and the top said, I'm going to go pull back to support. Whenever we see a top, or a bottom, all it really all that really is is like watching a ball game and telling you the other side just got the ball. Whether it was through four downs, an interception, a fumble, a bad pass on the ice, whatever it is, a bad draw on the uh, – it just tells you the other side now is in control. And their role, in this case here, sellers, their first role – is to just push price down to support. And there's nothing wrong. That's what buyers and sellers do. Buyers push price up to resistance. Sellers push price down to support. You know when one side is stronger than the other because they bust through those levels. Well, in the case of the IYR, came down to support. Well, now you've got a new profile. If this is going to move higher, we got Stevie's red line or green line, whichever one it was on the daily hour at 86.91. But at 86.56, we've got the top of a bearish structured profile now. It says 86.56 out of hold. The close above 86.56, I'm going back to the highs. Or at least Stevie's 86.90. But then above that, definitely going back to the highs. Has the IYR broken down? No. Gave us a topping signal. Sellers thus far have shown you their muscle. Their force, and all it did was just get back to where the buyers were hanging out. So, what was your question? No, I think I know your question, but I think you were asking about a certain time frame here. Um, well, I guess, this is all that I can share with you at this stage here. Still bullish as far as Stevie sees, but struck in, stuck in a range, 86.56 to 84.00. 48. Tomorrow, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. After this, we go to the baseball eyeballs email. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. The uh, next question goes to Hector. Uh, was that from Hector? Was it from Hector? I think that it was. Give me a second here. Uh, I think it was. It, it just vanished from my screen. And uh, he wants to, he's asking about New Age Beverages Corp. Which kind of, when I look at this chart, reminds me of, uh, I don't know why it reminds me. You, you guys and gals, you folks out there, remember the song Shanty? It goes back quite a ways. Um, who was the guy who sang Shanty? Remember, that it was kind of like, you know, lay around the Shanty baby and get a good buzz on. So that's what I kind of think of when I think of New Age Beverages. What's his name? Um, and name Jonathan Edwards. Is that the guy's name? I think I think that is who who wrote that song. In any event, let's get to New Age Beverages. But the question that uh, that was that Hector was asking was, you know, is today's gap up? Uh, it is a slight gap. You can see that yesterday's high was 558. Today's low is 559. Is that is that a good thing or a bad thing? All gaps to the upside are a good thing out here. Um, and I guess, I don't know if your question was centered around, are you worried about that there's a one penny gap out here for new age beverages? I wouldn't. Be, I'd be more worried about the gap at 488. But I really wouldn't be worried about that, so to speak, out here, because that's really a breakout. That is a wide price range breakout here. And all price did was, in essence, pull back the breakout. Now, preferably, it would have gotten down to the April 5th high, at least, which would have been 488. It didn't do that. Does that mean that it hasn't found a bottom? Well, here's one thing that you know, uh, because uh, bulls leave their signature out here. And so we can see that there are people that are trying to buy this, and there are bullish reasons to buy it. You'd love to buy something that broke out, as this did, and I think maybe as Carlos, I'm sorry, as uh, Hector did. Got a nice little hammer candle out here on April 17th. Nice bullish reversal signal yesterday. A gap to the upside. You're in a bullish structured box out here. Price ought to at least get back up to the 649 level. If you're wondering why did price stop where it did, um, then all I can do is bring over the weekly time frame chart, show you where Stevie's green line is, and you'll see it, voila. And that's really a level where you'd like to see price close above to get its good buzz on, so to speak, and continue to move higher. And that's at uh, 594 is where Stevie's green, license, green line is priced uh, right now. But uh, looks like it should be able to do that and then make its way up to 649 out here. You're above the top of the weekly profile. You'd like to see tomorrow price close above 563. It hasn't done that for maybe about six weeks or so. Then you'd be on to something as well. The monthly chart's not really providing you and I with a whole lot of information. So I hope that helps you out 
with regard to uh, what it is that we see when we take a look at uh, New Age beverages. Uh, maybe we'll play that shanty tune, which I haven't heard for God knows how long. And that will have to be the that'll have to be the theme song for New Age beverages. Because I'm guessing New Age beverages means we're putting a little something else inside of that uh, soda that you are drinking out there. Soda fountain shuffle, so to speak. All right, let's go to our next question. This comes in from Don. Don says, uh, uh, I like your take on a couple entries. I'm looking to enter GDX. Do I, do I see, do you see a bullish butterfly form with B leg round, the 786 area, or do you see a possible head and shoulders pattern? Um, is the nine count today. Okay, so let's go take a look at all this. Uh, so let's take a look at the GDX and try to answer some of those questions. First of all, I aim horrible with regard to the head and shoulders patterns. And so I'm not going to comment on that. I don't understand them. I kind of am like, was it Bud or or one of the uh, one of the uh, TF examiners used to say, you can find head and shoulders patterns everywhere. And so I said, well, I, what, I don't want to do that. Um, in any event, let's answer the question here first. Was uh, Do we have a TD setup nine count? The answer is we do. That was yesterday. So what you're looking for in today's candle session is kind of a, a wash at this stage here. Um, and uh, what I mean by that is even if we see a lower low today, the pattern would still be in place out there. Is that a reason to go ahead and step in and buy uh, it's a reason. I don't know if it's the reason, though. So to answer your question, is this a, a nine count? Yes. Let's pull up the other GDX chart just so you can see what's going on in profile land out here. So let's punch that, and you'll see the daily. That's on the left. The weekly, that's on the uh, center, and the uh, monthly. So what we know is the weekly t bottom of its box is held, and that is uh, 2057. But you know what you don't like, Don? You know what I don't like, Don? Um, I don't like the mere fact, let me just turn off price here. We'll leave the A to B equals CD pattern up, but let's turn off price. You know what we don't like? is a brand new bullish structured profile has formed today. And what we don't want to see is a close below 2084. Now, I'm not I'm neutral the mining sector as we speak right now, uh, but if you're trying to get bullish, uh, 2084 is a key level for price to close above. And where's the trading as we speak right now? Just below it at 2079. So if you're going to use the TD setup nine count, then you really want to see price close above the bottom of that box today, 2084. Otherwise, a 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD pattern could be underway. Now it would take price down to 2036 out there. So I'll take a look at your other question, which is DF, but we've got a caller on the line, and that means we have call ahead seating. And with call ahead seating, we're going to go uh, speak with Ron in Denver. So, Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Uh, great, Steve. Appreciate taking the call. Sure, my uh, pleasure. I'm so, uh, talking about Tesla. Uh, last Monday, I bought. I, I, I did a put spread on it, and uh, credits. Uh, you know, I mean, I bought puts, and I just came out now, and I made a buck and a quarter. And I'm thinking of selling the calls for next Friday, and on a on a spread, uh, and uh, selling the two fifty seven and a half, and buying the two sixties. What what would be your how safe would that be? Well, let's take a look at so where the, price stay let's, below two fifty seven and a half by next Friday. So let's let's take a look, let's take a look at that. And uh, the first thing up on on our screen. Uh, Ron, are going to be our daily, our weekly, and our monthly profile. So here's what we know. Price is below the daily, bearish. Price is below the weekly, bearish. Price is uh, now below the top of the monthly, so bearish. And when I use the term bearish, I'm just using directionally speaking the same way, in essence, that you are. Now, the problem here is when something is bearish or directionally speaking going lower, where is it headed to? Where is support? Just like John was asking about inside of copper out here. And there's one thing that we know. So I don't know if you've got that information necessarily right now today um, to say is it going to stay below 250 right now I'm interested is support going to hold and prices traded back to support which was a uh, kind of a high volume weekly low that was from April 2nd and the low there was 244.59 and you're at 246 you know and change out there I'd rather see that level break I'd surely rather see it break with volume. That means more than 87 million shares. And it has that potential because we are 
there with uh, 49 million shares as we speak right now. But this is a level of support that could hold. And the question is, you know, where could it bounce to? Well, you were asking really about the 256 area, I believe. Is that correct? Somewhere right around there, right? Yeah, 257 and a half. Yeah, this, I'd get about seventy-four dollars right now, and I'd be risking two fifty. Yeah, if and support that would be holds, till sure. expired We're, next Friday. All right, we've got to go to a break. Yeah. Hang on, hang on through this break. We'll come back with you, and we'll take a look at where price could bounce up to. We'll be right back. Okay. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So, uh, Ron, uh, I don't know if you can see my screen out here, um, but this is the weekly time frame chart for Tesla. And uh, one of the things that I've got outlined for you in yellow is the uh, consolidation pattern that's been trading in, in essence, since uh, February of 2018 out here. And this is the weekly time frame chart. And one of the things that we know is that uh, we'd like to sell the top of the consolidation or buy the bottom of the consolidation. And price is trading right now into the bottom of the consolidation. That's the 244.59 level. In order to take that, and to bounce, any bounce, if this holds here, the first level where price could bounce up to would be the bottom of this bullish structured box out there. And that's 261.01. Um, so until, the, until this consolidation holds, um, I think you just stay put right now. 
If you get yeah. a close blow, if you get yeah. a close blow, two forty four fifty nine, then at least you've got. Now maybe it doesn't. Maybe maybe it's a false breakout to the downside. But but if it is, then you can exit that trade. You know. But it, I would feel more comfortable in saying to you, hey. This thing's going to continue to go lower. You may, maybe you adjust your numbers a tad out here, but look for a close below 244.59 because price is pulling okay. right back right now into what should be support for Tesla. And, and if I were to say try and do this on a bounce, where would you say the bounce would be? Maybe to around 261. Yeah, I, I at this stage I, we've got to we've got to stick with 261 as a kilo old support being resistance out there. Uh, it gets back inside that box. 274 is a number that it will jump to, and then above that it could even get up to 306. So it's just you're at the bottom of this consolidation. You're looking for support to fail versus trying to buy something that's coming to support right now. So that's what I see. Okay, my friend. Appreciate that. Thank you. You bet. That was Ron in Denver, and it's that time, folks, where you and I, we're going to go spend the next hour with our favorite polar bear. That's David White. So thanks so much for being here on Terrific Thursday. Have a great day, and then let's figure out how we have a fabulous, fantastic, fun day Friday. Take care, folks.